Hi, Coach Ruben here. And I want to spend a few minutes with you talking about my evolving health program and why you should consider participating in it if you choose to do so. So if you're tired of the insanity of doing the same things over and over again, trying to get different results when it comes to changing your lifestyle and becoming healthier, then I want you to think about this program. Changing lifestyle is difficult. Changing just one habit, according to the research, takes about 21 to 30 days. But changing a lifestyle can take a much longer period of time, anywhere from 12 to 18 months at minimum, if not longer. So there, no wonder we try and we fail. We try and we fail over and over again because we don't know how to actually do that successfully. This program is designed to empower you to actually have a successful change in your lifestyle. It's not about losing weight. It's not about getting stronger. It's not about any of that. It's, it's about changing your lifestyle completely and comprehensively. One of the things that I've learned over the years is that in order for us to actually change our lifestyle, there are four important steps that we need to uh, address. First, if we're going to change our lifestyle, we have to recognize what Einstein said, that the significant problems we face cannot be solved at the same level of thinking we were at when we created them. What Einstein was telling us is that we have to do the inner work. We have to address our mindset, our thinking, our attitude, and our consciousness. We have to improve our awareness so that we can understand that we as human beings are wired to do the same things over and over again. And that doesn't lead to positive results. So we need to do the inner work first. Second thing, well, I go back to Einstein again, is that we need to have a new strategy because Einstein said doing the same things over and over again, expecting different results is the definition of, you know, you know what it is, insanity. We don't want to do that again. So let's use a different strategy, preferably one that actually works. So let's have a proven strategy in place. The third step is that we all need support and accountability. Most of us fall into the pitfall of trying to do it all on our own, and that's a real serious mistake. Nobody, and I mean nobody, graduates from high school with no teachers and no books. It doesn't happen. So we all need support. We all need accountability. It's really important for our success. And we have to surround ourselves with the right people and the right environment so that we can be supported and hold ourselves accountable. And then the fourth piece for being able to have a successful lifestyle change is that we must have consistency. Without the disciplined effort, without that dedication to the long-term course of action, we'll revert back to where, where we were before. So we must have consistency. We need to put all four pieces in place because all four make a difference to setting ourselves up for success. This is the reason why most people fail in trying to change their lifestyle. They pick up a book trying to say, oh, I'm going to lose 30 pounds. I'm going to read this book and follow the diet and I'll lose 30 pounds. And they may lose the weight, but they haven't changed their lifestyle because they haven't started from here. This is what we need to start with. My Evolving Health program is designed specifically to empower you to change your lifestyle. And we start here. So day one of the program, of this two-day program to kickstart this whole process, I talk about the five secrets to living a thriving, healthy, happy, and prosperous life. How we can shift from being in a survival state to being in a thriving state. How do we do that? So it's real important to understand those fundamentals. And there are five major areas that I will share with you that will empower you to actually shift your central nervous system state from surviving to thriving. The second, second aspect that we'll address is how to create breakthroughs in performance in any area of your life. And I'm going to show you the process of how people who are successful, truly successful, I'm talking about champions, I'm talking to people who are happy and, and healthy and thriving, that kind of success. How do they create breakthroughs over and over and over again? And how is that? There's a process to doing that. 
One of my teachers, Dr. Dennis Whaley, was a behavioral psychologist for the U.S. Olympic teams back in the 80s. Every single athlete who went through his program attained an Olympic model, uh, Olympic medal, I should say. And I'm going to teach you the same five steps that he taught those athletes. I'm going to teach you how to go through those steps. The third piece we're going to talk about is based on the work of Dr. Carol Dweck at Stanford University, a brilliant psychologist who's been studying mindset for the last 30 years. And we're going to talk about how we can change from a fixed mindset, which is in the survival state, to a growth mindset, which allows us to really thrive and do well. And I'll give you specific tips on how to do that. And then the next piece is looking at how our subconscious mind is wired. And I, this part is called eliminating self-sabotage. And what we do in this piece is we address how the subconscious mind is wired. And you become aware of the levels of your subconscious mind that most people never see for themselves. And when you understand this for yourself, you become truly empowered because you'll understand your inner child at a whole different level. The next piece is a, is a very powerful exercise called restructuring beliefs. And I will actually guide you through this process to negate your most significant limiting beliefs. And when you learn to do this, you become empowered in such a way that you become unstoppable. And then the final piece for the day is looking at integrity. Because without integrity, nothing works. What we know in, from a psychology standpoint is that when we make promises to ourselves, like I'm going to go to the gym on Monday, and then Monday comes around and we hit the snooze button, we are now put ourselves in the state of survival psychologically. And we're now in a state of cognitive dissonance. So now what happens? We have a belief. We have a statement that we said to ourselves, a promise that we've made to ourselves. And we just broke that promise. Now we're in a state of stress. So it's very important for us to address those promises that we make to ourselves and be the ability to be able to keep them. That's day one. Day two, we look at the body and health and practices to get you started. So I will start off with a very important segment on cellular-based science. The basic unit of the body is the cell. We've got trillions of them. And what we need to understand is how the cells function. They are a universe unto themselves. And we need to understand what happens at the cellular level. And when we understand that, then the practices for being able to be healthier become much easier to understand. So I'm going to give you lots of information around that, all science-based. Second thing we're going to, I'm going to give you is a four-prong approach to get you started on creating a healthier lifestyle. So we're going to talk about nutrition, hydration, cardiovascular exercise, and strength. All are important, and there's more. But this is just to get you started. So nutrition, again, all of this is going to be based on cellular-based science. So no flim-flam, no fads. This is all a science-based approach. I've had the opportunity of coaching high-level athletes for over 40 years now. And so I've used this science to be able to empower high-level athletes to perform at a very, very high level. So I'm going to show you the same principles, the same information. It's all science-based. So we're going to look at nutrition and how to actually feed the body, what to feed the body, why you need to feed your body certain things and why certain things don't work for your body. So we're going to cover that. Hydration, critically important because our body is 70% water. So we need to understand how critically important this is and how to do it right. We'll talk about cardiovascular exercise. I'm going to teach you how to actually strategically shift your metabolism using cardiovascular exercise in just 20 minutes a day. And it works, and it works really well, but you have to know how to do it right. And then we'll talk about strength training, which is critically important, especially as we get older. One of the most significant issues for us as we get older, over the age of 65, the most significant problem that we face is falling. Because we lack core body strength, as we get older, we start to diminish and lose that. So it's important to have excellent, excellent strength. And we can all get stronger. I'm not talking about bodybuilding. I'm talking about getting stronger, especially core body strength. So I'm going to teach you how to actually do a total body workout that will improve your core body strength with just three 
exercises based on the research of the National Academy of Sports Medicine. So I'm going to teach you that science and information. Then we're not done yet. Then I'm going to share information the, uh, around being able to effectively lose weight using those four prongs. So if you are out to lose some weight, you know you need to lose some weight because we know obesity carries with it an increased risk of all cardiovascular diseases, all of them. All right, so heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, the list goes on. So if you need to lose some weight, then we're going to follow this, these four prongs to empower you to do it the right way and what that looks like because it's a different, it's a different effect when you actually follow this approach. So we want to use all four prongs. Very effective. It's worked very, very well. I'm living proof. Okay, so I, I was 55 pounds heavier 23 years ago, and I used these four prongs to help me lose the weight and keep it off. That's more important. The final pieces are very, very important because what I'm going to teach you then, so that's all the information to get you started with your lifestyle habits, but then I'm going to teach you the science of habits because most of us don't know how to actually create new habits or dismantle bad habits. I'm going to teach you the science and there is a science to it. There are three major parts that you need to understand when it comes to creating new habits. So I'm going to teach you that science and how to actually analyze your bad habits so you can dismantle them effectively. I've learned a lot about habits over the years coaching athletes and I'm going to share with you that same methodology and it works. Then we'll talk about actually setting a goal for your first 12 weeks after the two-day program. So this is based on the book, The 12-Week Year, and it's, it's material that I've been using for 40 years. It's about being able to plan a season. So we're going to plan a season, your first season, 12 weeks. And you're going to create one goal. I'm going to walk you through a process of creating a thriving goal. Very specific. I've done goal setting for years and years and years and years and years. Most of you have. However, most people fail at achieving their goals because they don't have a thriving goal process. I'm going to teach you the thriving goal process. It's unique. I invented it. So I'm going to show you how to do it. And it's really powerful and it works really well. So we're going to do that process. And then when you get done with this establishment of your first goal for your first 12 weeks coming out of the program, then I'm going to put you into groups. And I'm going to uh, have you select a, a group leader. Or I may select a group leader, but the thing is you're going to have a group leader and your group leaders are going to be empowered on weekly calls with me. I will train them to be supportive, to hold, help hold you accountable, to be encouraging. And then you're going to have weekly calls with your group for the next 12 weeks. And this is to support you. And what I've discovered is that we must have a network of support around us. We must create that for ourselves in order for us to re really be successful. So I, I established this as part of the program, and it's really awesome. I mean, people have been accomplishing great things in their first 12 weeks out of the last two programs. It's been wonderful to see. So this is a great process. And then what I will do is also have a mid-season check-in with everybody, and I'll have a end of the season check in with everybody and we'll even have a celebratory dinner. So it's a wonderful process to be able to empower you to really get started in having a whole entirely new, effective and successful lifestyle. So thanks for watching. I certainly hope that you consider putting yourself in this program. It's not like any other program that's out there. It's completely unique and it's, it's a fabulous process. The program is limited in space because I got to keep it manageable. So please consider doing the program. I look forward to seeing you soon. If you don't come to my program, please be sure to come to my free seminars. Check out my book. Check out my website. Anything else that I can do to serve you, please let me know. Until the next time, live long and prosper.